What is up guys, Son of the Beast here, we're back for our number NBA 2K21 of the NBA Playoffs. The next game that we are seeing is the back-to-back -back insane with the score as Kawhi Leonard's team has tied the series 1-1. And now, they're playing back home in Los Angeles and Jazz at LA. So, we have to see who's going to take the lead in the series. Will it be Utah or Los Angeles Clippers? There might be a solution here that they never showed it up. Well, it's because one of those players that got in, got in foul trouble here was Ilya Sofa, and sometimes Paul George gets a little too much to get out of comply to just go right in the out form. And here to see that I'm bringing it back to see what happens. So, why not go with this team? And for, for another episode, here's your best overall shoe. The winner for congratulating is... So which winner did it best and which shoe will make it? So which one is it? That's all up to you, the two cakes. So it's up to you. Pick your, remember, your brand. The shoe will be and also, we will get the playoff edition. That is right. So if you, if you guys decide whatever you wanted to pick, just do it. You could just you could just try to pick a look at it if you want to take a look. We are at LA right now at the Staples Center and bringing up is to a lot of major uh, highway going right around the bridges and down beneath below. And right now the NBA coverage is still on its way with Greg Anthony and all the Spurs, with Doris Burke and David Aldridge. And checking out the starting lineups, we have another key matchups here as Paul Atlanta faced against Bojan McDonough and Donovan Mitchell faced against Paul George, Mike Conley against Ricky Jackson, Royce O'Neal against Marcus Morris Sr., and Gobert against Batum. So, the Clippers are just finding themselves if they like to take it back at that point. Quinn Snyder, Tyrone Liu are still working out there. We'll see what happens here in Game 3, but now it's time to make it history in each game. Here we go, folks. This is Game 3 at LA. Clippers wins the jump ball. George against Mitchell. Pass to Batu. Try to go right back to it is Kawhi Leonard. Making a screen. Oh, he just got slammed down. Rudy Gobert picks up his first. The story of Kawhi Leonard is told. It will be about the hard work being the secret of his success. Here was a guy who was not the most vaunted prospect in either high school or college. But boy, he kept his eyes on what he was after and he kept working. Rudy Gobert has this first personal. And now two shots, Kevin, will be Kawhi Leonard, the claw. There's, there's Chuck, Chuck, mascot for the Clippers. Only guy right down there. First free throw is good for Kawhi. And George, you were talking about Leonard's work ethic. Going back to San Diego State, he used to come in at 6.30 in the morning. No lights on in the gym, so he brought his own lamps. I mean, the guy was dedicated. <laughs> no doubt, Kevin. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think there's no doubt on that one. First to practice, last to leave. He has that hunger to improve, the drive and the desire to put in the time to be great. There's a pressure. Shots good for Kawhi. He's willing to pay it. I know on the other hand is Conley. Analytical approach towards the game. commentators again. Movement. The first block is on Kawhi Leonard. I mean, he does it all. Yeah, Kev, that goes back to his favorite high school subject. Three-pointer more senior. Oh, I let him pick up his first assist. And now has added the range game. Very Rudy Gobert. Pass to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich following Marcus Morris's three. Gobert shooting wide open. Trying to contact there uh, with the rebound, but it's knocked out loose. Jackson, Jackson scores the paint. That time from George. Exceptional vision by Paul George. Scotty is tearing up the defense. Some tough offensive, tough offensive, offensive look here on the side for the Utah right, Jazz, right. but now they're trying it again. Looking over, O'Neal. Shots way off the mark. Quick start here for the Clippers. Quick start here for the Clippers, and now here's Paul George, pass to Batum. 
Free! Oh no, it's not. Ha ha, I got you. Worried about the explosiveness of Donovan Mitchell. Coach said Mitchell is too fast for bigger players to guard, and he overwhelms smaller players with his strength. So that means you're going to have to send more players at him whenever it's possible. Kevin. All right, David. All right, David. Thank you. Here's Jackson. He's Jackson. Following up the score by Mike Conley. Three from George. Three for George. Ray Jackson. His first assist. Number one. Conley over to Mitchell. Mitchell gets to Conley. Conley outside. Hits the three. Donovan Mitchell with the assist. Five points for Mike Conley. He now has five in this game. Paul George finding a corner. Wide open look, the letter three for a senior. Paul George assist again. Mitchell over and under. Goes over to Gobert. Gobert dish off to McDonavich. Over Morris, shots off the mark, and a foul calls on Clippers. It's Paul George, his first personal. Fifteen to five is his score. Jazz trail by ten. Four thirty left, and the clock is stopped. Rudy Gobert shooting two. He is a defense unto himself. The first one in for Gobert. It endures as Gobert has added strength. His rebounding numbers have continued to improve. That's right. Right. That is totally right. Not sure what to say about this one, but this might be a lot of hard work or the dedication run. A lot of topping inside, going in and under. There might not be enough. He's got great size, great anticipation, and two free throws for Gobert is good. He's got his first bucket. Los Angeles leading by eight. Los Angeles Clippers lead by eight. Gobert finding a look. Jackson misses the shot. Boy, a clean, 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 clean look here. And now he finds Gobert. Good pass out there. Oh, the jumper gets run off into Paul George. Good D. Again, Kawhi Leonard goes inside. And the story for Kawhi Leonard, how himself, he's playing back at San Diego University. His play was not quite enough for him to just score big. But for this time, he has scored many points. Many points in this game. But that's more efficient than I have for Kawhi Leonard to pick it up in a game. And after the 2019 NBA Finals, he was the MVP chosen one for the Toronto Raptors with a win at that point. So, well play out there for Kawhi Leonard, but for our next story, we'll continue as well. Now, Kawhi Leonard missed a shot with Donovich as they trail by 10. Donovich over to Conley. Tight corner here. Mitchell wasn't able to see that Gobert was making a shot, but it missed off directly. Three! Kawhi Leonard! The claw! Makes the triple. Timeout. L. I mean Utah. Energy and intensity. This team has timeout on Utah. Now it should be the right time. And the first time out of the game. Right now, subbing out players will be Orso Neal. I'm going to need to bring Yang in. I don't know what he was doing already, but he's like helping him out to make it better. Now here, Conley, you'll suck him out, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring back. Um, I'm going to need to try to like. Caref I'm going to need to try and bring it up carefully, as I will have no, Mitchell in, and then I'll have, um, on the other side already, I will have uh, new players coming in, and I'm not sure where you see Jordan Clarkson around here, it may not be a choice for him to just score out there, only checking in, and, and nothing out of the board yet for those two guys, I'm switching the offense, Make the, yeah, well, make the man. Right I'll just try to give it up. New changes here for the Jazz and the Clippers as Mitchell sends the point guard. All her players are checked out. Niang, Ingles are checked in. Niang outside. 
five players checked out. But Kawhi Leonard and Paul George moving to the other key, key guards. First foul calls on man is first. Los Angeles. Well, see now, Mitchell is a quick-footed guard, and he's going to get defenders in compromising situations. The Jazz have had two chances. Jazz are adding two chances to the free throw line. Donovan Mitchell shooting two under three minutes left. 20 to 7 to score, so there's no doubt on that one. First shot. Max it in. Talk a lot about now here's a new change here as Kennard will check in for reason, Paul George. This is also an area where he's excelled. Oh, no doubt, Greg. We, we identify him with the offensive end of the floor because he's carried a burden for the Utah Jazz early in his career. But think about it. He's strong, athletic, long wingspan, excellent instincts. This guy has the potential to be one of the most impactful two-way players in today's NBA. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Now Zubox against Zubox. I mean Gobert. Here's Zubox. Zubox over to Rush on Rondo. And here's Rondo. Try to go back in the front. Go on again. He gets it back. Oh, Gobert! Knocks out with the block with the first one in game three. Check out that play once more. Kawhi Leonard just got that first deflection. And we got a good mobile one block here, but no question out there. But this early game could be tough for them to just score it. Another look on the run. It might be hard for them to stop by. But it could be uh, could be in trouble if they find another one. Leonard. Leonard shot no good, and now be Yang first rebound. Right from the Five rebounds for Utah, eight for Clippers. Most of only one and one off rebound. Going their way. Mitchell hits the three pointer outside. Gets his five points in the game. Rise and fire and catch and shoot situations. He keeps the defenders off. Rajon Rondo cutting in. It's good. He goes up for another two-point look for the Clippers. Early on, they've got to sum it up a little. Two minutes left here in the first period. Mitchell trying to cut it off, but it's Nay. Missed the three, but it's Odie outside in the corner, and it calls an offensive foul on Donovan Mitchell the, on the legal screen. That'll be his first. That pick wasn't illegal. Only one turnover with the small number turnover on the Jazz. Marjan Rondo against Mitchell finding Leonard. Drives inside the paint. With the slam, it's just no question about that one. Odie outside, trying to pick up a two-pointer. Yang for three. Second attempt, no good. Los Angeles still outscoring in this run. Man over Ingles. It's a rip, but it's Rudy Gobert with another rebound. Cold on the cold on the Clippers. It was man. Mitchell dishes to Gobert. Finding up is Oni. Oni, move over to Gobert. Five to shoot. Try to get the ball. Oni for three. Knocks off, and it didn't hit inside the three-pointer at that point. However, it's Jack Clippers gets the rebound. Leonard kicks to Rondo. And on cold, not able to go outside. Leonard, around Yang, shots up, and it's good. 11 points in the game. 11 points in this game. Mitchell over to Odie. At all three levels, taking advantage of the mid Odie pass to Gobert. Gobert going in the drive, and it's covered up by Hiei. And it's deflected by Kawhi Leonard. Seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Separating the shot clock, game clock. Three! Luke Kennard! Crushing it. Right now, they've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. Only again. Finds Gobert. Oh, it's Zubox with the block. And here comes Leonard, and he will score here. Oh, my gosh. What a play this turned out. Another lead changing out there. Rudy Gobert trying to slam it. Shot off. 
No shots here for Utah as first quarter ends. 31 to 12 is your score. Kawhi Leonard and his team are killing up for the first quarter. A lot of streaking here in the action, but we'll be right back in the second quarter. Everybody had their expectations of what we should be or will be, but at the end of the day, you know, we got to be able to focus on us, you know. Uh, obviously, we went through a little bit of a rough patch. You know, we're still figuring things out, but we can make adjustments and continue to build. And I think we're playing great basketball. I think we're doing things the right way. And you know, Greg Mitchell. You know, Mitchell was working on his way for his goal, but he might go for another chance and then try to give it up over here. So when his goal needs to be clicked out, he has to try to find himself to look over again. And a Conley with a right around the board, right near the bay, right near the sideline. It will be a layup in for Conley, seven points. So a lot of Clippers are just changing it out a bit. Moai Leonard looking it over again. Number two pointer is good. Another one coming up for Leonard, 15 points, and rest of the team players have 18. Now here's Clarkson coming in. The sixth man scores his first basket. Clarkson loves the offensive end, and he's in the flow on that drive. That's nice. And Rondo over again and under. Rojan Rondo coming in. Marking shots. Oh, it's Derek Favors with the block. Three, Luke Kennard. Looking to grow out there, Clarkson. The sixth man of the year gets his second basket. There's a reason Mike Conley's teammates love playing with him. If you're open, I promise he'll find you. Go Highlander. Ingles steals the ball. Finds McDonovich. Goes back to Ingles. Now over Clarkson for three. Shots missed. Moore Senior with a rebound. No assist here for Joe Ingles. Rondo finding more senior. A little tip to wide. And we got a lot of piece of it. It could be Derek Favors. Oh, it's McDonavich with the block. Okay, I did not see that. You're right, Doris Burke. McDonavich going deep. Rebound by Barrett Favors as he just couldn't handle the first three pointer. Screen on Favors. Another shot. Another shot. Tight around. And it's Dubox with the rebound. Has got his Leonard up again. Try to fight his way. Rondo. It's the three pointer, and we got a good rebound here for Derek Favors. He gets his third rebound. Conley over to Ingles. Ingles over to Favors. Foul on the Clippers. Zubox takes his first personal. Greg, you were a physical and only Derek Favors will go to the line to shoot two. Closely, the game is called now, as opposed to when you play. Proposing the win that one play is just not quite enough for them to score. And the run himself, it may not be in time for them. You just go right around it. Two shots coming for Derek Favors. So much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling. And ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact, even if it's, you know, incidental. And I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. Not a new change here for Utah Jazz as Bogdanovich has moved over as Eagles checked out. O'Neal's checked in. Three players are checked in. George, Jackson, and Batum are checked in for free players. He's checked in for Zubox. While George comes in for Leonard. And Reggie Jackson. Two free throws for Derrick Rose. Got his first basket. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost now three here's Bert, into the second. Now here's Paul George with only 4.30 left to go. George, Another two pointers good. He's training the jump shot. He keeps going up. Smooth jumper from Paul George, and he just lets it fly whenever he gets free from that spot. Free for O'Neal. Sends it out and slam it down. That's a splash for O'Neal taking up the first three pointer. Clippers leading by 15. Clippers in a lead by 15. Another three point miss again for Paul George. Great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a. Oh! What a tight move here. Clarkson gets his second, gets his third basket. 
to the middle. Again. And rejected by Derek Favors. Two blocks for Derek Favors with third 345. Just under three 343 left. Here in the second quarter. Trying to make it right. Morris against O'Neill. Outside Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich for three. The team didn't send it back. But now another rebound here for the two. Los Angeles has gone one of three. Los Angeles one for three again. Mitchell try to look for another jump shot, but another one is Paul George. Timeout on Utah. They're trying to go for a talk it over. Forty to twenty-five to score. Just looking out there, big and wide enough for them to just look out there beyond the mark. Now Mitchell, I will sub him in. Bogdanovich, I'll check him out. And I'm going to have uh, Oni check back in. I'm going to sub out uh, Jordan Clarkson. Thomas check back in. And then Derek Favors check out. Rudy Gobert check back in. Los Angeles also making a switch here. Here's a look at that play. Four players are checked out. And it's Mitchell with the ball. Mitchell with the ball. Gobier, O'Neal. I mean, Oni, Thomas, and Mitchell. Two players are checked out. Man's checked back on the court. Mitchell up top, guarded by Jackson. Oni, switch around. And a shot off the mark. George with the fifth rebound here, another shot, and it turns out of bounds, another turnover on the Clippers. Good tight D here for Donovan Mitchell to pick it up. Now he'll have to try again. Jazz trail by 15. Jazz trail by 15. Mitchell scrams it up, and he's fouled by Reggie Jackson. That's the number of personal foul that turned out to be on number one on Clippers. First foul on... Reggie Jackson, Jackson with the there. shooting. Donovan Mitchell going to the free throw line to shoot two. Free throw attempts for the game right here. A lot of free throw attempts for each player to give it up. But not on the out score. First free throw sends it off. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and it extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. Second free throw for Donovan Mitchell is good. He has seven still points. He's still pacing up his score, but he Donovan might be Mitchell in trouble if the other players on offense could take the shot and put the wrist into their podium. Absolutely. And you're absolutely just trying to bear in on it. The drive by Jackson, by Greggy Jackson yeah, is subbed off away. O'Neal with the rebound. That's two in a row. Mitchell outside. Mitchell outside. Finding back is Gobert. Gobert looking over, but he finds Mitchell. Thomas trying to go in with a drive, but the shot will not be in time. The breakup loose is Rudy Gobert. You know that old expression, you can't teach size, but Gobert showing great effort as well. I love that he creates second chance opportunities. Here's Jackson. Oh, Mitchell sees that Gobert takes two blocks. Like Derek Favors did. 51 left here in the second. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Mitchell, three pointer, good. As Mitchell just trying to pick up a silent run. And Gobert has gotten his first assist. Brady Jackson, Batoon drives it inside. They're in, they're in the lead now by 10. Aggressive defense, they need. On aggressive defense out there, just yeah, you might be another shot for them. You just give it another shot and another chance for them to score. Gobert outside. Going back to Mitchell, trying to reset it. But the shot clock is down to five. Oni's first shot can't handle the board. Clippers leading by 10. They lead by 10 still. Outside Jackson. Outside is Jackson. Pass to Morris. Pass to Morris. He goes over. Angles. Over Thomas is good. 
Jackson's got three assists. Three assists now will be on Reggie Jackson. And Oni. We're going to take the deep pass out there. Thomas out there. He dish off to O'Neal. Back to Thomas. Suits over a man. That shot for him is no good either. Los Angeles taking another direction. Mitchell against Jackson. Over for two. Back to Jackson. And he will go down to the drain. Very easy to forget about him, but his score is like way authentic on the run. Time is trying to go right in there, and he's fouled by Batum. His first personal has come up from Nicholas Batum on the shooting. Clippers have three team fouls. Now time is still quiet out there. He will take the first free throw line to shoot two. His score could be tough off tempted. But this shot may not reduce him another strength. The first one drops. Not a new change here for Clippers as Angles is checked in for Oni. Thomas moving it over to point guard. And a new change for Clippers. Four players are checked out. Four players are checked in. Rojan Rondo, Jackson to shooting guard, Leonard to point forward, and Zubox in center. Perhaps we don't see, uh, we do not see that Patrick Beverly coming in on the court, but it could be hard for him to just try to give it up. Leonard seemingly going out of nowhere. There's just so much force that Kawhi plays with. It is what allows him to rise up and put it down with authority. Ingles passes to Thomas. Thomas with a three, and he drops it in by. As Ingles takes the first assist. Now this quarter. He finally has the board with the half board, not able to make it in. That will be the end of the first half, 48 to 37 to score. Their shooting has been out the decay and been terrific out there. It's time to send you to David Aldridge on the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, what concerns you most about the first half? Well, I think the tempo is in their favor right now. They're uh, they're fast, and they're getting up and down the floor. So they're running out in transition. Got to beat them to the punch. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, All right, thank you David. And we'll be right back for the second half. Please stay tuned as we will close out the first half. And as we dive into the second half, we start off with the third quarter. As we just mentioned, Kawhi Leonard, his story just went up flying fast. But this is all over on him. He might be in for the tuple, and he might be ready for trouble in the game. In this game, part of the third quarter, 17 points, four rebounds, two blocks. He might be fiercing up on the game, but now the second half has started up as we start with Conley first. Conley, still out on the run, finding over his Frankie Jackson. O'Neal, trying not to travel the ball. On to Conley. Shoots off, and he gets a two point on the board. Only single digit here for Mike Conley. Slight of frame, but the intention is there and finishes with contact. It's good. It's good here. Kawhi Leonard, assist by Paul George. Defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Gobert helping him out. To the inside. Inside, knocked out by Nick Batu. Nobody near Leonard. Three! Kawhi Leonard! Jackson's got his fourth assist. Jackson's fourth assist right now. Mitchell for revenge. And there is a put back. Mitchell has got 13 points in this game. This guy is getting tougher at that point. Mitchell tried to look over it again, but now a number three lost the ball. Didn't handle it back. Gobert's got his eighth rebound. McDonough for three. Both players are getting back in the game. They're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Jackson over on the two. 
Blocked the pass, and it's tipped away. O'Neal with the ball. And here's a two-on-one fast break. And he slammed it down. Rudy Gobert, 8-0 run. O'Neal taking the assist, and he has his first steal from this game. And there it looks like they're catching it up again with only 5.6 to go. Jackson still up again. Oh, Gobert got three blocks in a row. Three for Jackson. Knocked away, no good. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them. Now Mitchell has it out in the other direction. He only has four points. But three blocks for Gobert is seen now terrific score. Now the back rim for Gobert's shot's no good. Again, here's Jackson. And another play of drive will be Reggie Jackson. Timeout on Utah. 435 remaining in the third quarter. And with their offense. Still on the offensive run, it's like not picking up the prep for but this might be tougher than to just give it a shot. And now I will switch it on the offense. Don't worry, they will automatically uh, make a change here. Here are the comparisons here. Only three blocks for, um, for the Clippers. As Kawhi Leonard has that at all. And five blocks for the Jazz. Rudy Gobert has got three blocks and two blocks on Derek Favors. They are adding it up to five blocks. Three turnovers on Clippers, two turnovers on the Jazz. Field goals percentage, 38.5 was the Jazz, and 54% for the Clippers. Rebound here, 22, and 19 for Jazz. 55 for Clippers, 47 for Jazz. All right, now we'll make, it a, make it another pick and rolls here. And that's it. Now Kennard checked in for Clippers. A new change over here, it will be Utah. Four players are checked out. Clarkson, Ingles, McDonavich, and Favors are checked in. Oh, Conley's just scoring the basket inside the paint. He's like clean, 5 of 7. 11 points for Conley. Here's Leonard taking the drive. And it's Kawhi making it number 2. He manages to make one here, only had missed five shots, but only ten made it on the run. Ooh, the foul's on Reggie Jackson, his second. This is not going good for the Clippers fans. Not good at all. But a lot of solid work might be out there in a single digit. A lot of hard work on opportunity here. And right now, Conley shooting two free throws of this game. First free throw sends it in. Mike Connolly, probably one of the most respected players in the league, and I don't see this guy stopping anytime soon. He brings great effort every single night, plays with a team-minded selflessness, is a big shot maker. This guy has had such a solid, probably underrated career. And only one out of two for Connolly will be sent back. Now Clippers lead by seven. Luke Kennard in the drive, right around it, and he gets another point in. Kennard's got eight points. Conley on a streaking roll. He has brought himself 12 points for assists. Open look, Favors. Favors can't hit the two. Listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Here's Leonard. Leonard. Forces the weight, and he just gets another two-pointer. 26 for Kawhi, and 14 in the paint. 3.25 left to go. Ingles looking over again. Passes to Ingles, uh, being Conley. Over again, McDonavich. McDonavich shots very early. Like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive. Offensive run here, Kawhi. Over to Jackson. Now, man, switching it over, Jackson. Jackson shooting for two. Kawhi Leonard trying to go back. But it's a good look here for Nick Matu. He got his bucket anyway. Oh, he just went down. Claw receives his first personal. 
Well, Jordan Clarkson, the sixth man of the year, continues to get back into this game. And he's very too powerful to just go right up in the round to take the layup and try to go up with the stop. He could have put up an offensive foul. But, the one thing that but this is one thing that happened to him. He could have like tried to like keep it going at that point. Two free throws for Jordan Clarkson. First free throw sends in. Reggie Jackson's checked out. Rajon Rondo's checked in. And he does a tremendous job creating offense and putting himself in a position to attack. And the Clippers making a switch here. Rondo's checked in. So and Clarkson takes two free throws in. Clippers leading by 11. Clippers lead by 11. Eight points for uh, Jordan Clarkson. Kawhi. Three! Inside! And they are extending the lead. Looking over, Vodanovich. Over again, Eagles finding Vodanovich. Looks around, and he gets whacked out by Batum, his second. And he's a little bit too much to get tight here. It's quite obvious to go right around him with the jump play screen, and then go right up, like over around Batum, and then take the layup. It would have been a hard choice for him to just go inside. He gets two blocks already, but let's see if he adds two more points. And he is the first. For Last one left. He gets the second. He gets four points on the board. Rondo again. Screen on Goai to the claw. Rondo and Leonard gets a little bit of peace out of it. And jump balls called in between Tabers and Leonard. Yo, you better not talk like that. One block again. And that'll give him a jolt. Nothing like a rejection. Little, little like almost a causing a rejection here. Almost picking up a bad angle at that point. And let's see if Luke can, he's going to win the first. He's going to win the jump ball. And here are the Clippers now. Clippers wins the jump ball. Batum. Finding Batum. Good D on Clarkson. He gets a rebound. Conley in the corner. Under two minutes left here in the third. Favors surveying the floor. And it's another bad pass for Derek Favors. Leonard's with the drive. He goes right after it. Timeout on Utah. Minute and 38 left. Got a comfortable season here, just trying to pick up the run. Jazz are calling timeout here. Well, the new change, I'm going to switch new players, and then news court on offense. Uh, most of uh, the poten potential uh, with the player on that on the court. Might be a solution. New change here for the Clippers and Jazz. Yang comes in for Bogdanovich, and Conley just checked out, and Bogdanovich is checked out. Mitchell moving into the other end. Oh! He goes right after it. Batum gets a painful look. Beautiful play. And oh, don't mess me up. And now Rondo again. Looking around again, and there are two, who scores the layup. It's the bucket inside the float. Only a minute and 14 left. Yang, right over to Mitchell. Mitchell, finding his uh, neighbors. Eagles outside. The triple's good. He's back in the game. They're showing much more focus here in the second half. More effort as well in their offense. Starting to Top, the LAC Clippers, Clippers with 55.8 seconds left to go. And 
one thing you love one thing we're going to change here we'll do in the two to three zone we'll try to like make a new change already and i will sub out uh sub out jordan clarkson i will have is i'll have um uh, thomas get back in the game joe ingles has carved out but he's carving out the big man out there Paul George is checked in for Kennard. Now George is checked in for Kennard. He's checked in for the Jets. On cold, still on Joe Ingles. Nope. 55 Man. seconds left in the third. In a corner out there, Leonard out. Three! Kawhi Leonard! That's, that's another three-pointer here, and this is what everyone was thinking. Kawhi's the best. Here's me. Yay! First three-pointer, can't hit the floor. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Leonard! He was a three! Oh, no, six. He gets six. That's a two-pointer. I told, I got tricked you again! I don't know if that was a three. It was a two-pointer then. Yang rolls over to reverse it. Down it goes. Nice one there from the Yang. Yeah, he's got his first bucket. For more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away. Mitchell trying to go away with it. Another two-pointer for Kawhi Leonard. Leonard's got 38 points. 38 points, 10 seconds. Consistently efficient with favors, right? Around to Thomas. Three-pointer ahead. Jumps across, and he gets his first triple. There, the kind of ball movement coaches This one ends up the third quarter. 77 to 64 is your score, and we are on a double digit here. Can Jazz come back, or Clippers win game three? We'll see what happens when we come back. Here's a chance now to look at the State Farm Assist to the game. He may not be the only one to shoot it that far, but the only Clippers they had, they managed to make it off. Reggie Jackson, I haven't seen the scoring drop. Multiple, play multiple plays here. Pitch. Paul George is like handling up on its own. He's trying to give it up all his shots, but he wants to try to comparison to between assists and shots. So we head to game game. Uh, we will head to game four, but still in LA. Let's see which win could it be? Double man on them. Jackson. It's the three. Oh, I let her assist. And if you give him that much attention, he'll find his team. Angles. Over to O'Neal. Angles outside. Knocks the triple. And the from deep. He gets six points. Two, a number more. A number more for um, Joe Angles. Now Paul George in the corner. I mean, on the wing. Outside, Kawhi Leonard. Gobert on the floor. The two. Outside for three. And it's inside, but it's a two-pointer instead. They lead up by 15. Mitchell out again. Double man on it. Finding favors. Sends it out. Mitchell got another assist here. They're trying to go back in the game to just keep an eye on them. George. Jackson outside. Back to George. George hits the three. Rebound. Letting it fly, but it comes loose. Go Bear, number 10, for the rebound. Mitchell does it again! Well, this is problematic because Donovan Mitchell can hurt you any number of ways. Driving, spotting up, you name it, he's got it. Final quarter of play. Final quarter to play here, just still out there. Jackson, looking for a man defender. Go Bear! Four blocks in the row! Now run it up with a one-on-one, -on -one. but it will be missed out directly. Gobert gets another two point. Eight points for Gobert. Timeout on LAC. Well, Gobert is seven foot one, and that in and of itself seven foot one. is difficult to. I thought it was seven foot. Doris Burke. And the Clippers. And Clippers will call time here. I'll sub out Joe Ingles, and I'm going to bring back. Um, Mike Conley in, as I will have to switch it up. A lot of focus out there. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Oh, that's not fair. Dang it. 
And I'll sub out there in favor, so I'll have Ogan Ovan Badanovich check back in. It would have been nice if I bring somebody back in. Hold on. Clarkson? Dang it. Oh well. I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have Oni in, and then I'm gonna have Clarkson in there as well. I'm out of time. Let's catch up with, Let's catch up with sideline, David Ort, David Aldridge. Hey Kevin, during that last break of Hertz, Ron Lewis, he talked with the team. He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball. Guys? All right, thank you, David. Thank you, DA. Another three-pointer for Paul George. Out for tonight. And Bogdanovich trying to fight for his way down by ten. On the now under five minutes left to go. Right Paul there. George out on the other hand. Tony on the cover. Leonard out spin and lays it up. 12 in the head. 40 points for Kawhi Leonard. He could be the uh, new balance player in the game. He's fouled by Batum and he calls his third. And his reaction is turning out terrible. What is up with him? There was no question. I don't know why Batum just got got reaction and and tell told the ref that it was a foul. It wasn't a foul on him. Rudy Gobert to shooting two. First shot sends it off. One shot left. Could be going up for the double digit. He didn't hit the second, but that's it for Gobert, and he just had one out of two, blocking fouls on Bogdanovich, his first. Now a new change here, Bogdanovich is like switching it over to the Jazz motion here. Fourth quarter of play, and we're quarter of play in an action here. Here's George. Outside. On the outside, Leonard takes a step back, but he gets to fade. Jackson, long range shot, no good. Rudy Gobert helping out McDonavich to keep the ball in. Gobert on the outside. McDonavich knocks down the triple. Another assist on Rudy Gobert. He's like showing sights of no, nothing happened already. Two assists in this game. Try to stay in the center, Gobert. Who almost had it and dipped. And it's Oni with the rebound, only one. He's scoreless so far, so nothing for him. To go bear. Gobert. Here's Oni. Oni. And in a triple, well, can't hit it both. Gets to Clarkson. Bogdanovich looking around. Bogdanovich with the laying off at the score run. Bogdanovich laid it up. And they're down by six. Ten points. Ten points in this game. Paul George looking over again. This run. Finds around the two. The two. The two. Leonard George up again. Jackson. Outside Jackson. Jackson. And Jordan. And Jackson Jordan get reached a foul call on by the ref. Michael Conley. Michael Conley will check in for Jordan Clarkson. And Odie checks out. Clarkson moves the shooting guard. We'll switch up here. He tries to reach it, but he failed because he's fouled by the ref. As this calls a reaching foul. Oh, Kawhi Leonard going front to back. It has a tremendous game out there. Under three minutes, timeout on Utah. And the Jazz call time here. We have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, I think they've got to be talking about just guarding him a little more tightly on the They were tightly on the fender here. Could be on the run. But there's a lot of uh, lot of play action out there. Mitchell, I'll uh, go ahead and sub in for uh, Jordan Clarkson to just stay calm right now. But that's more what he needs to do. Alias, so far, I'll have to check it in. And then we're going to switch to Jazz Motion into three out actives. Crash defensive board. We're going to get the series back in there. Boston Zipper Series. This is what we need to do. And now, 
Here's your Jordan player, I mean, New Balance player of the game. This one goes right to Kawhi Leonard. The Claw has gotten himself a big timing scores on this run. And his performance is like no doubtion or ever. And thinking about him, it's just not quite enough for him to just score on the inside and outside. Had a play is inside, could be trouble for him to score. But a moment like this, never happens. And mess it up. Sorry. Here's Gobert. Gobert gets a two-pointer. Assists by Bogdanovich. That gives him a double double. It gives him a double double digit here. 11 11. Now Batum on the outside. Just trying to go over an open look. Leonard. Try to fight for the screen. Another shot. And it's foul. Rudy Gobert has got his second personal. Could have got five blocks in this game. But this is the toughest score for him to just elevate, this, elevate the player to the next level. Marcus Morris Sr. shooting two for the Clippers. The shot he misses, the, misses the first. He gets the first one. It's only it's one out of two. Jazz trail by seven. Jazz trail by seven. Donovan Mitchell looking on the floor around. Mitchell trying to look over again. Now here's Ellie Sofa. He's never been playing out before. Shots getting a little contested, but he gets his first basket. The court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man cap. Jackson against Mitchell. You're down by five. Leonard, three, Kawhi Leonard. Nearly it so far again. A pass off to Conley. Mitchell outside, step back three. No good again. Clippers lead by eight, and here comes Leonard. He scores the big drive. That's 47 points but it will not be enough to, to reach the ladder of the MVP. Conley, back to Mitchell, now Ailey Sofa, finds Gobert, he's fouled again on Batum, his fourth foul. Second team foul on LAC. There's the, uh, there's the assistant coach for the uh, LA Clippers. Um, I'm not sure what his name is, but the only thing I'm knowing is He's out here for uh, for the last couple seasons in twenty in 2019 through 2020. But now he got fired here at that point. So Steve Nash able to help him out. Right on the first, so but the other head coach is like moving to transition on the assistant coach for LA Clippers. And Brett Brown, I don't see him anywhere. Rudy Gobert hits two. Timeout on Clippers. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're up by eight. They're up by eight. Rudy Gobert only had four blocks in this game. Now checking the comparison, but each team will be showing you momentarily. We have his 95 points for the Clippers, 87 for the Jazz. 26 rebounds for Jazz, 29 for Clippers. 24 for Jazz, and then 28 for Clippers on the assist. Two steals, even up. Six blocks on Jazz. Three blocks on Clippers. Nothing on that drought. Three and three, even up for turnovers. And field goal percentage, 50% for the Jazz. <coughs> Excuse me, 59% for the LAC Clippers. 50% for Jazz, 60% for Clippers. And for the, uh, for the foot, 90% for Jazz. Picking it up and 75% for 
for the Clippers. Now we're going to need to just try to crash it again. Get one of the shooters open. We got to try to look out again. <clears throat> now both teams have one timeout remaining. Next shot in will be on each team to call. That's good for Paul George, with our assist here. Mitchell, 17 points. George, 12 points. Gobert lost the ball. That's a fourth turnover on Utah. Here's Freddie Jackson, and he's fouled by Donovan Mitchell. Fourth team foul on Utah, giving him a lot of trouble here for foul troubles on each players. Reggie Jackson shooting two at the free throw line. They could be clinching up to 12. His first shot falls in. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. And a second free throw is good for Reggie Jackson. Minute and 20 left. Finally, Mitchell for three. He messed it up again. He couldn't hit the three-pointer. Jackson, Leonard on the ball. Udonovich on the cover. Get back in front. Leonard sinks it in. Like 49 points. Wow, he's an incredible player. On their last minute left here, Gobert trying to defray the floor, and he will take the layup in. A beautiful pass doesn't always get Beautiful pass for McDonavich. There were some Under 53 seconds left. 101 to 89. Clippers in the lead, extending the layup. Five blocks on Gobert. And it's Gobert who didn't sink at all for six blocks. He only had five, but it's Batum with the make go. Night for this guy. Ilya Sofa, no open man pass. It will be a three pointer for Ilya Sofa. Right now, but it isn't how they came into the game. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better place. A little tight over here. You're down at 25. It's 90, 103 to 92. It's never an easy point in the game, knowing whatever you do. Here's another one for uh, Kawhi Leonard's team, as they are in the, half, in the lead, last possession for them. Leonard against Bogdanovich. And right now, under 10 seconds, is being weighed out. Left side, Leonard. And he doesn't take a risk. Clippers wins the third game, 103 to 92, and now they're back up in the lead. Clippers turn it over to make a 2-1 lead in the series in game three. And Rhythm at that point, only five blocks, turned out to beat Rudy Gobert. And now let's catch you up on the sideline report of David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much, Paul. Congrats on the win. Where is your team's attitude right now? You know, play together. And if we can just stick to that, keep working, staying confident, keep defending, um, and knocking shots down, we'll be all right. Looked like it all came together tonight, Paul. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, CA. And thank you for watching for another part of a game of Clippers vs. Jazz. We'll see you next time in Game 4. And then coming up next will be Milwaukee Bucks at Milwaukee facing against the Brooklyn Nets in Game 3. Following along by Suns at Trailblazers in Portland and the Sixers at New York. With all this being said, Son of Peace is out. Peace out, bitches, for as a while as the NBA playoff dial. Have a great afternoon. Thank mm -hmm. you. You've probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, you've probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hating. 
and y'all yearn for rooms is gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting. 